Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a couple things going on. I'm gonna fix this uh, eight millimeter tape that's been chewed up by a dog. She was super upset about that. I also just had a customer come in that uh, brought in a couple tapes here. And one of these is damaged as well. Um, she's super upset about that, but we're gonna fix that for her as well. I actually told her I'd go ahead and have that done for her by, uh, by Sunday. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that today, even though it just came in. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sean with Emerald Coast Digitizing. I convert tapes and films to digital here in Pensacola, Florida. If you need someone to do this for you, check out my website, emeraldcoastdigitizing.com. Let's get on with the video. Not too many. This should be easy. I actually went and looked at a uh, at getting another van yesterday, a 1980s Toyota van. Uh, like the, the kind of square body van always wanted one so kind of working on trying to get one it didn't work out it looked like maybe it was stolen so I didn't mess around with it these look a little bad so we're gonna fast forward to wind them all oh, they seem to be running just fine okay this one's not turning So this one's got some kind of problem with it. Let's see, why isn't this one turning? Uh, I felt it, it was stuck. Sometimes I'll get stuck on these just because I've been sitting for so long. No, there's something more, something more wrong with it. So we'll take a look at this one too. Still haven't gotten around to fixing the um, Kodak Reels machine. There it is. Just a little sticky. You see right there where it tried to break because it gets stuck on this metal thing, this metal roller. All right, it should fast forward now. There it goes. I was working on some mini DV tapes the last few days. This is my mini DV rewinder. We got this one going over here. We're using the Canon GL2, and it's just run through S Video straight into the Elgato, and it's working fine. The GL2 is over here. I do have another mini DV camera down there, so I was doing three mini DV tapes each. And this was kind of the smaller order, but you see here, had a few mini DV tapes. They all came out pretty good. Uh, some eight millimeter tapes not digital eight just eight millimeter and then we got um one vhs tape going now we got a big box of film that we're working on over here we actually got a uh, a walt disney film that she might actually give us the customer dropped off this projector the other day and i've been needing a, a regular eight uh projector to rewind with and this one has just been working great as a rewinder like to watch this so we'll, we'll check that out maybe a little later if you guys are interested finish rewinding so we'll flip them around send them back the other direction just a normal day doing the normal stuff that I do up here some small companies are going through and fixing little problems like this but most companies aren't so this is just part of the service you get And that's pretty bad. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like the VCR tore it up. Somebody asked me in a video the other day um, why I do splices instead of putting them back into the clip, the clipped part of the uh, tape there. And uh, whenever the reel breaks, whenever the film breaks at the end of the reel, I typically just tape it on because. If it came out of that clip once, it's probably going to come out of it again. Pretty good. Put it back in the tape housing. Fairly simple repair. See this spring, it came off, so it probably was locking up the tape, and that ended up uh, 
causing the VCR to fail. And there we go. Now we got a, a good working tape. All we have to do is rewind this one and that job's ready to get started. So we'll go ahead and knock hers out today and get it back to her. Because she's uh, passing through from Panama City. Which is about two hours from Pensacola. Today is Friday so I am posting this video the same day that I made it. But yeah they're going to the Hot Air Balloon Festival which is a super cool event. That happens in Foley, Alabama which is about an hour away from Pensacola. So they're passing through from Panama City. To Pensacola or through Pensacola picked their friend up at the airport and now they're going to um, Foley so they're gonna be coming back through on Sunday to drop him back off at the airport and I'm closed on Sundays but I want to get this done today and then Sunday they can come by and pick it up and I'll just meet him up here for him she was super happy about that she was asking me to mail it to her when I was done I just told her I'd rather just get it done that way I don't have to deal with the mailing so that's kind of what we're doing sorry i haven't been posting as much guys i just i've been super busy with my life and and then the business as well i just haven't had time to post we're really creeping up there on 3500 subscribers guys so let's see if you're watching this please go ahead and subscribe it really helps the channel grow but i have been pretty religiously trying to post at least on fridays and i'm not transferring this stuff any differently than you would at home if you were to buy like an over-the-counter capture card, I'm just using the Elgatus uh, capture kind of all-in-one thing here. And uh, it's been working great for me. If you have the right players and you know what you're doing, you can get some pretty good results out of it for the most part. So I'm not doing anything special up here, guys. I'm just doing the job for people. Do you want to take that time it takes to go learn how to cut grass or learn how to do your brake pads or do you want to just uh, pay someone to do it for you? It's done it a hundred times. Let's see here. This one looks fine. So we can just go ahead and rewind this one. And it's rewinding fine. We got a VHSC here. Guys, I'm not sure if it's going to happen or not, but... I'm talking to the landlord about renting the space right next door to me, which I think would be great because then I can have more room to expand if I want. I'm also just feeling a little claustrophobic in here. I feel like it'd be cool to reclaim this space as a work area and make that place next door, like almost like a store that I can like set up shelves and almost have like a video store over there. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe I'll sell some retro games and stuff too and uh, buy stuff too. So I don't know, it'd be kind of fun. I think he said he'd give me a deal if I, uh, if I got both of them, but I could knock a wall down and have a whole, a whole separate space. All right, so this is what we're all here for. We're all here to fix this and see how actually how badly damaged it is. I've got a digital weight tape right here. It's just one of my test tapes. I will be using this one to rehouse it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew this guy and really just see how bad it is. See if the, the dog got a hold of the actual tape inside of it. At first glance, it doesn't really look like it. So he might be, get lucky. But it looks like he's chewed that screw out. So we don't have that screw on that side anymore. So just pop open. <laughs> yeah, so he did get into the reel a little bit. So we probably should change the reel out on it. So to do that, what we'll do... First off, we need to clean this up. Unfortunately, it's this part of the footage here is lost. Um, I mean, I could try to flatten it out, but I just think it's gonna cause more damage to the player and dirty the player up. Actually, you know what? Maybe I can. 
save this. Maybe we can avoid a splice. It's just so crinkled. I don't know, guys. I don't know. It is at the end of the tape, so... Now, what I could probably do is at this point to try to keep that shape I can hit it with the air with the blow dryer and try to heat it up a little bit so so I don't know if that helped me much but because it's still wanting to crinkle over but we're gonna put this in the rewinder and hold it tight and we'll go ahead and get it all on one reel. And when I do this, I like to um, put the rewinder on a dimmer switch. And now we got some speed control. So we can make sure that it wraps up the way it's supposed to. And then once it's rewound all the way on this side, then we'll put it in a new housing and we'll rewind it to the to the front on a new reel. That reel's messed up. Which I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward it. Some of these rewinders have a some quirks so what we're gonna do is we're gonna rewind this all the way to the we're gonna fast forward this all the way to the end we we'll fast forward this all the way to the end and then we're gonna take the whole tape out of this one on this side get rid of that and then put this one in there I actually had a lady call me from another digitizing company asking me to build her a mold cleaner I'm going to have a video that I put out soon that shows you guys how to clean mold without building or cleaner. I've done some pretty cool stuff with VCRs the last few days messing around with that. Alright, and this is almost to the end. There it is. So we'll pull it out and we could try to pop that clip out and put that leader back in that way. But I don't want to. Just gonna tape it. We can easily splice these two together and have plenty of a uh, leader room. Just gonna hold it all together and as long as it fits in the spool there, we should be okay. All right, looks pretty good to me. Put this back in. And then we'll put this guy back on. Some screws back in. And we'll put it in there and let it properly rewind. And there it goes. So we'll let that rewind to the end. And this is her old housing here. Looks like she had a sticker on it. Maybe we can. Yeah, let's try to get that sticker off and replace it. That way, it looks pretty clean. All right. And it's good to go. Ooh, so those three are ready to go. Go ahead and get these two started while that rewinds. 
Just delayed high eight or what? Yep, high eight, thank God. And there we go. It would be hers to go to her daughter's if something's December 27th, 2001. Coming through perfectly. See if our uh, repair tape works. Alright, this is another, uh, this is another camera that can play digital 8, high 8, and, uh, regular 8 tapes, so just in case this is a different format, we, uh, we've got all our bases covered. And it is switching over to high 8, regular 8, so that's a good sign. This is that tape that we just repaired, so it's good that, to know that it's, uh, not a digital 8, so when it gets to that bad part in the tape, it might actually just play it a little scraggly. But yeah, things are going good. That wasn't too bad. Film. Does this have sound? Looks super faded. No sound though. And this is 8mm, not super 8, so we'll put it regular 8. All right, there it goes. Hey, if you made it to the end of the video, I think you'll like these videos as well. So check those out. Uh, like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment below if you want to chat. Thanks so much, guys. See you in the next video.